Hello, here is how you can set up two-factor authentication on Proton Mail. So you have to head over to the website. I'll leave a link to it in the description. And then you tap here and tap sign in so that you can get signed into your account. If it asks for your password, just input it and your username. I'm already signed in, so it's just going to take me straight to my account. So after getting to your account, you tap on this button here and then you tap get to settings. All right, so tap here. And then you tap account and password. Scroll down until you see this two-factor authentication option and you tap on this. So you can start the registration process now. So you tap next and it's going to show you a QR code. So if you're doing this on your computer, you can scan this QR code with any authenticator app you use. But since I'm using my device, my phone, then I have to tap on enter key manually instead. So a key is going to show up with some random characters. All you have to do is just long press. When you long press, it's going to get selected and then you tap copy. So after copying, you're going to need an app like Google Authenticator. So I'll leave a link to it in the description. Just open the app after you install it. Next, you tap this plus button. And then you tap enter setup key. So give the account a name. So you can give it the name you want. For this, I just called it Proton Mail. Click and tap. Next, I'm going to paste the key that I copied from the website. So after pasting the key, I'll tap add. If I scroll down to the bottom, you see that I have this code here. So I'll just copy the code. By long pressing on it, I've copied the code. Then I'll head back to the website and tap next. Then I'll enter my password. Next, I'll enter the code from the Google Authenticator app. I had to get another code because the one I copied expired. So this one is new. And then I'll tap submit and now two-factor authentication has been created so a bunch of codes will be created for you so you want to keep them safe so you can download them by typing on the download button down here and after you download it you keep it safe because if you don't have access to your two-factor authenticator app then you can use the code to log into your account so after that tap ok and um, yeah as you can see two-factor authentication has been enabled